Hello, I am Monica Humpel. I'm a master certified coach, and this is a series of videos I'm doing especially for the unfaithful partner. I myself am a betrayed spouse who chose to stay in their relationship after an affair. And if you are finding yourself on the other end of that scenario as an unfaithful partner, and you'd like to know more about um, healing with your betrayed partner, I hope these videos are helpful. There are a lot more, so feel free to check those out as well. And if you like these, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And every time I put these out, you'll be able to check them out as well. So this video, I want to talk about what is an actual true apology and what your betrayed partner is really looking for when they're wanting the I'm sorry's from you. First, let's talk about what a, an apology really is and what it is not. First, and I think everybody needs to hear this because we all tend to do this to some degree, an apology does not include the word but. When we say, I'm sorry, but you really upset me, that's actually not I'm sorry, that's I'm validating my actions because of what you did. <laughs> I'm not really sorry. Had you not done what you did, I wouldn't have done. So basically, you're not sorry you did it. You see what I'm saying? We do that, I think, as a culture all the time. So that's one thing just to keep in mind as a general rule of life is that if you're really, really sorry for something, telling someone, I'm really sorry I hurt you, and that's it. That there, there are no buts. There are no justifications or validations. It's just, I'm sorry. So um, try when you're apologizing to your betrayed partner, remember that your, your choices are yours. And when you had an affair, that was 100% your decision. Regardless of the state of the marriage, regardless of how you were feeling at the time, you still chose to do something that was incredibly hurtful. So that belongs to you. So when you're apologizing, it doesn't need to come with a but. It just needs to be a genuine apology, understanding that you're the one who made the choice. You were the one who did the hurtful act. So that's the first thing I want us to understand is really what a real apology sounds like. I want to take this one step further, though. What a betrayed partner is looking for goes kind of a little bit deeper than just, I'm sorry. They're looking for two more things. They're looking for the actions that go along with, I'm sorry. It, it, when we say we're sorry to someone for hurting them for, for whatever reason, if our actions towards them continue to be hurtful, even if we're not doing the same hurtful act, but we're doing other things that are hurtful, it doesn't feel genuine. If I'm sorry I hurt you because I did this thing over here, but then I hurt you doing this other thing over here, it doesn't display genuine remorse, if that makes sense. So a betrayed partner is looking for genuine remorse. If you're genuinely sorry you hurt somebody that you love, then you will work hard to not hurt them anymore, regardless of how that takes place. So they're looking for actions to back up, I'm sorry. Also, the second part of this is I'm going to use the word repentant. Now, I am actually an ordained United Methodist pastor, but if you're not a Christian, please don't let that turn you off. I can talk about this from a Christian perspective, but I'm going to talk about it just for what this word actually means. The word repent literally means to turn and go in the other direction. So if you're moving in the direction of harming somebody, whether it be you hurt their feelings or anything like that, um, or have an affair is a good example. If you do this and you're going in that direction, repentance means that you realize this is not a good direction to go in and you make a conscious decision to do a 180 and go in the other direction. 
Repentance is literally realizing that you've done something wrong and you never want to do it again. Therefore, you are intentional about your actions doing the opposite of that hurtful act. It's turning in the other direction. Repentance is deep. It's when someone truly realizes to the core of their being that they have done something so wrong that they never, ever, ever want to do it again. So they work really hard. They work on themselves and they're very intentional about how they treat their partner. That's what your betrayed spouse is looking for. Repentance and actions to back up the apology. So I want to take this one last step just to help you understand what may be going on in your scenario. If your significant other who's been betrayed continues to want to hear apologies and it's driving you crazy, maybe, maybe you're uh, frustrated saying, I have said, I'm sorry a hundred times. Why do I keep having to tell you I'm sorry? Okay. There might be something underneath that. When something is is um, triggering frustration in you, see this as an opportunity for reflection. Ask yourself, really look at your actions and ask yourself, could there be a reason why my partner is not truly believing the apologies I've already offered? Is it, Could there be a reason why they still need apologies for me. Here are some possible reasons why that could be taking place and maybe things you can do about it. One could be that, like I mentioned before, your actions are not correlating with the I'm sorry. Um, perhaps you're struggling emotionally and uh, maybe you're short-tempered or defensive a lot with your betrayed partner and it's causing them to doubt the validity of your apology. Maybe you need to work on your emotions. Maybe you need to see a counselor and work through. Listen, you're feeling too. You have feelings just like your betrayed spouse has feelings. And if you need to work through those feelings, this is your opportunity to do that. So maybe that's what's underneath a lot of this. Or perhaps your hurt partner is, you know, asking for more apologies because they don't believe you are truly remorseful. Perhaps the way you deliver your apologies has a tone of frustration. I'm sorry, okay? Maybe to them that does not sound genuine. Maybe to them it sounds like you're just telling them what they want to hear and you really don't mean it. You're really not sorry that you hurt them. They are looking for the repentance. They are looking for genuine remorse. They're looking for the actions. Or perhaps there are things going on in the relationship that are leading them to feel unsafe. They're having a hard time feeling safe with you. And if they just know that you really genuinely feel bad for what you did, I mean, really, to the core of your being, and that you express that to them, they're looking for that because if they knew that, then they would feel safe enough to know that you're not going to go out and do it again. Because really, to be honest with you, at the core of all the fear that your betray partner feels, that's the biggest fear, is a repeat affair, more betrayal, more lies. We're scared of that. But if we knew that, that our partner really did understand that what they did was awful so much so that they want to change they want to repent they want to turn around and do differently if we knew that we wouldn't need all the of the repeat apologies so i hope that helps give you some clarification as to what may be happening in your experience with your betrayed partner okay so i'm, I'm going to keep doing these i hope these are helpful I coach women who've been betrayed specifically. So if you have a partner who has been betrayed, um, I actually do have one male partner who's been betrayed. So um, I, I would love to talk with you. So if they're looking for a coach and you think I could be a good help for them, please have them reach out and schedule a free consultation. It's in the information below. But I'm going to keep doing these. And hey,
comment if there are questions you have, if you're trying to understand your betrayed partner and you don't, you're trying to understand, but you're really struggling, put it in the comments below and then I will do my absolute best to give you my perspective as a betrayed spouse who stayed in her marriage. So, all right, I hope this has been helpful.